Hi, I'm Kristen Klein, one of the speakers with Solheim Enterprises, and thank you for joining me for my mini lecture series. Today, I will be talking about vicarious traumatization. Vicarious traumatization is sometimes referred to as secondary traumatic stress. This is a phenomenon that is experienced by many in the helping professions, but emergency nurses are at extremely high risk for experiencing secondary stress. One study found that all professional caregivers will at some point in their career be forced to confront secondary traumatic stress and burnout. Secondary traumatic stress is similar to PTSD, except it results from cumulative exposure to crisis and trauma experienced by others, and is often referred to as the cost of caring. The situations that trigger this response in caregivers include death and end of life care, patient and family aggression, lateral violence in the workplace, massive injuries and significant bleeding, constant pain and suffering, inadequate staffing levels, moral distress from being unable to give the care that we feel we should be able to deliver, guilt because we don't feel the way we should about traumatic events, and unresolved personal trauma and transference. Secondary traumatic stress has an enormous personal cost for caregivers, and many of us do not realize that our coping mechanisms are a direct result of vicarious traumatization. Most nurses, unfortunately, are completely unaware of the incidence of secondary traumatic stress and the effects it can have on their physical and mental health. It is an unrecognized epidemic in healthcare, and education is the first step in addressing the problem. Stay tuned for part two of this lecture where we'll talk more about secondary traumatic stress.